What are your thoughts on the new Call of Duty Havoc maps? Oh, I love them. Um, I like them because, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of intimate. You know, I like that course, close quarters. You go out there and uh, you don't have to run around searching for people. They're coming right there, a central quad courtyard, and um, have a little fun. Well, Activision is giving away $1 million to the best Call of Duty Advanced Warfare player in March. What do you think, uh, what do you think about their initiative to get people to play the games? Um, that's that's big time. Uh, I'm sure that you know they, they got a bunch of people right now for trying to perfect uh, their Call of Duty skills to make sure. I mean, that's a that's a huge prize, um, and I like it. Like I said, like trying to get engagement, trying to find different ways to, to create excitement and bring people in is truly important. Um, and whenever you're giving away a million dollars, you can get a lot of people excited. So. Uh, I wish I was a little bit better and uh, would have an opportunity to win it, but um, definitely wishing everybody out there luck. If esports was around when you were a kid, do you think you might have gone more towards that kind of profession? Would it have changed what you wanted to do? You know, um, I think it would have had a lot to do with my parents. Um, you know, I was like growing up, you know, I had like a monitored amount of time I could play video games, watch TV. So my parents wanted to make sure I was doing a lot of things. Um, but I, I don't know. I, it's so hard to, to go back and say, um, but I definitely know that I would have been more inclined to tell my mom, Mom, this is a profession. This isn't, this isn't just a, a hobby anymore. People are getting careers off of this. She probably wouldn't have believed me. She probably would have still told me to turn off that TV and go outside, but um, I, I definitely think it's a great opportunity. I'm always a fan of people having success, and I'm a fan of people that have talent. And, and there's no way to say, oh, this talent is true talent or this isn't. It takes great skill to come in here and play anything at a high level. So all those people that play those esports, they're talented individuals. And I'm glad that they're, they're being able to make a living and uh, have an exciting lifestyle because of it. What video game memories can you share from your childhood, from games you were playing when you were growing up? Oh, man, I, uh, you know, video games have kind of been a big part of my life and you know I can remember oh when I was playing Crash Bandicoot and it takes me back to that that age when I was sitting there on that first PlayStation playing with my little brother or um, even back when I was playing like the Lion King and Sonic on a Sega um, and then you know getting older and getting that first Xbox 360 and going and playing uh, Call of Duty in my college dorm room and seeing how through my life I've transitioned I mean I remember playing Game Day 98 uh, back in the day when everybody was still a box and uh, seeing how differently they move it's um, it's come along so far and uh, I've had so many great memories you know sitting around in, in high school and playing Madden with your boys and having competitions and getting bragging rights at school so I definitely uh, have a lot of experience uh, playing video games and, and really being able to take me back to that time of my life you know when you pick up that old game you're like cleaning out a box you're like oh what is you're looking down and you're like, this is Tony Hawk. I remember when I used to play Tony Hawk. And uh, so I definitely have uh, always enjoyed video games my entire life.